All right, well, uh, Sunday day has been quite interesting. A few sports have gone on my way. Uh, let's talk about the good, the bad, the craziness, and the ugly. Okay, let's start with the ugly. <laughs> Two things I want to talk about. Sorry, Uncle Luke, but I have to put it in here. UNC losing to Wofford. Are you serious? Again, at home, again. I said in the first round I lost to Wofford. I lost a few times. But I'm just a Clemson basketball fan whose team sucks. Okay, that's not the ugliest thing. The ugliest thing was Clemson's shooting. It, 54 points? Really? Duke would score that in the first half. What in the... God, I wonder how bad Houston would beat us since this team won by 20! They beat South Carolina by 20. Wichita State beat them by 30, right? They lost to Boston University. Ugh. I'll get to that in a second. I'm, I'm not done raging. But uh, that was the ugly. The interesting thing was... Talk about the Cowboys. They won big time. They're, not, they're still not the best team in Texas. Playing the worst division in NFL football. Ugh. Oh, God. I'm just so pissed right now. You'll, you'll find out. First of all, okay. Talk about the Texans, about the, how the Titans. The Titans are a 9-7 team for the past few years. They're not, they're not trash enough to get a good pick, but they're not good enough to go to a playoff because there's two teams ahead of them that are just better in the past few years. Now it's just one team because uh, uh, Mr. Luck retired. He had to retire during the Florida Miami game because it was just absolute disaster. That's why he really retired. Look it up. Okay, I'm kidding. That's not how he retired. He retired because he's taking hits. His offensive line is shitty. That's why. You took up Miami. Just passed. I'm bad. Texans win. Should have won by more. This we played absolutely trash today. We played absolutely trash today. It wasn't Deshaun two red zone interceptions. We, 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 are, we are so much better than the Titans. It's not even close. It's not even close. I'm so glad that this new Texans team came out. The Texans team I saw against the Patriots, which they won, to the team that, I, that sh didn't show up last week against the Broncos. You want, you want to comment on that since I didn't, I didn't make a video because I didn't feel like it and they have time? It was an absolute trash can. The defense was absolutely garbage, and the offense didn't know what it was doing. It was too busy celebrating after our Patriots win. Time to go to the next week, boys. That's my reaction on it in just 10 seconds. Doesn't matter, Titans. You're eight and six. You're losing next week to the Saints. Eight and seven. You'll lose the Texans again. Eight and eight. Eleven and five. Eight and eight. You know what? The Colts go. The Colts will lose to the Saints next week. They'll go eight and eight. You'll have eight and eight. Eight and eight. Jags will go like five and eleven. Six and ten. And the Texans will win the AFC South again for the next year. And what what is that going to be like? Three to the next four. It doesn't matter. We own the AFC South. Texans are AFC South champs for life. All right, on to the part that everyone wants to hear. This comes to basketball team. I, you know, Clemson basketball fans, I get it, okay? Uh, Kyle Trapp is out. Jonathan Bear is nowhere damn near 100%. Nick Honor, we thought he was A-10 player of the year last year who, uh, who transferred to Clemson, tends to be the next Marquise Reed, isn't playing because he has to sit out. Um, you know, hasn't been the gr greatest recruiting class for Clemson. Um, Chase Hunter is absolutely trash. He's so bad. Um, Amir Sams has improved. Look. Amir Stam hasn't improved. Who thought, whose fault is that? It's Clemson's. It's Clemson that are players trash. My gosh, man. You lose the South. This South Carolina team is so garbage, man. They're so bad. Ugh. What's the best win? TCU? We shouldn't even win that one. We shouldn't even beat TCU. We're going to go into ACC play. Six and six. Watch us lose to Yale. We're gonna, I'm calling it. We're, we're losing. The, we're going to lose to one of those teams. We're going to. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised one bit if we lost to one of those teams. And honestly, we play UNC and Duke in the same week. We're getting absolutely bow raced in both of them. I was, I was going to plan on you know, thinking about videos for the future. What if I say we made a, can Clemson beat UNC and Duke? Ain't no way in hell we beat UNC or Duke. <laughs> nah, they're not too. <laughs> Shoot. Unless Cole Anthony and the whole UNC team is hurt and they got a bunch of walk-ons in. But again, I don't know. Can Clemson beat a team of walk-ons? That performance was terrible. It was terrible. 54 points. You can't score. You can't score. This 2017 Clemson team that went to the Sweet 16, compared to this team, 
would whip their ass by 40. By 40. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. God, Clyde Trapp, please come back. Oh my goodness, man. You're like, you're literally the only player that was good at returning. Amir Sims, you're okay, but you're so inconsistent like the Houston Texans. I'm so pissed right now. I'm so pissed. I, I, we better beat these guys. We better sweep them in baseball. I'm so pissed. That's going to make up for it. Sweep them. Sweep them! Now I got to hear this shit about, oh, one year. That's all. You got a, you got a, you got a one sport. It's football, okay? That's all you care about is football. Got to hear that over and over and over again. And you'll only own us in football. Um, just wait till baseball season. I'm not going to end the video yet. Psych.